gravy. Flan Nash started as a joke on YouTube. Nash means nation. So you can use Nash for anything. Like, um, so flannel nation is basically what flan nash means. So like, yo, I'm wearing a flan nash right now. Like I'm in the nation of flannel is basically kind of how it started. It was a stupid joke. Um, and I got asked this on Twitter a lot. Like, yo, dude, when you said that joke, did you think it was going to turn into a full product? And I was like, hell no. Um, so basically what we did is I said it in a video. It blew up on social media. Everyone was like hashtagging flan nash. Like, look what I'm wearing today. They're wearing flannels. And I was like, dope, dope, dope. So then I created a social media for it, and I was like, yo, I'm just going to feature people that are wearing cool flannels. Um, and that took off. That got about, you know, 800 followers. It wasn't, I mean, like, who really wants to follow that? <laughs> um, and then, you know, we kind of, like, me and Alex looked at each other, and we're like, yo, why don't we just make some product and, like, put the word Nation on it and put the word Flying Nation on it and sell it? You know, I could have just made stuff and then shot it and, like, took a picture on my phone and hung it up on a hanger and posted it to the site. But I was like, man, like, I don't want to do that. Um, so we spent, you know, multiple days going out to this farm trying to get them to let us film there, like scouting the locations, driving all the way down to Canby. It's not close. Um, and then we finally, you know, were able to get it right. We had to find models. We had to find a truck that would let us drive it. Um, that was a huge hassle. But we finally got everything situated, situated. We shot all the photos and all the video in three hours from five to eight. And it was a huge um, time crunch before the sun went down. So we had to get everything before the sun went down. Um, and we, you know, everything was successful. We got all the final shots back, all the final video. And that's kind of when we realized, man, like this, like this, this is awesome. This is an amazing feeling. The stress of, you know, a month is worth this moment of me watching this video that we spent that long working on. Um, we released it, we created a whole marketing campaign, we're going to, you know, post on Instagram twice a day, blah, blah, blah. And in under an hour, it sold out on flannage.com. Basically, what I've done is, you know, I've taken it upon myself to find some of the most, you know, inspired, creative, you know, genuine people in Portland. Um, Alex is obviously one of the, you know, one of my best friends, and he's a very, very, you know, when I met him, you know, I mean, like, this doesn't matter, but he only had, like, 50 followers on Twitter. Like, dude, just, like, no one knew who he was. And I kind of make it my goal to, you know, make people aware of who these people are. Um, so, you know, he's been designing now for a, a bunch of brands and like, you know, getting recognized as being a style icon. Um, and, and then, man, who else? Everett. So Il Gander, um, one of the most amazing photographers I've ever come across. I kind of blew him off to be honest. So I get hit up by a lot of people saying, yo, let's hang out, let's shoot, let's do this. And I was like, man, whatever, like this, you know, <laughs> he's going to watch this, he's going to be pissed. Um, but I was like, man, I get hit up all the time. I got a photo guy, I don't need him. Um, and then one day I was just like, yo, let's just meet up. And the man, he is incredible. I mean, he's not even just his photos, but him aside, he is such a, uh, an easy person to talk to that, you know, he's one of my best friends as well. Um, and his photos are incredible. He's been featured on eBay. He just got a job with Patron. They're flying him out to shoot these, um, like people partying basically. Like he gets to sh photograph people having fun. Um, so I am more than happy to, to put him on to my followers. Max Shoop, one of the, Max Shoop and Tom, oh, sorry. Max Shoop and Tom Bender, two of, you know, some of the most talented video guys I know. Mac has done a lot of video work for me in the past as well as Tom. Um, those two guys. It's like, you know, Mac only has like 700 followers. Tom has like 2,000. It's like, I want to get them to, to 40,000. You know what I mean? Like, I kind of take that upon myself. Like, I want these people to succeed and I want us to all succeed together. The best thing I've ever done is hitting 100,000 subscribers on YouTube. Um, my brother told me, because he didn't really, I mean, a lot of people didn't take what I was doing seriously, you know, just a kid sitting in front of a camera showing off clothes. Um, but my brother told me, as soon as you hit 100,000 subscribers, then I'll take you seriously. And I did it. Um, and, you know, he'll never tell me that he's proud, but I know he is. Um, so I think that was one of the greatest things I've ever done. And, you know, just being, like I said, a middleman for these people um, to to showcase their work is, is what I'm all about. I love being based in Portland. A lot of people are telling me, you know, I, I need to move to New York or L.A. in order to take my thing to the next level. Um, and if it comes to that, I will. But, man, I want to stay in Portland. I want to try to make it here. You know, you see in New York, you'll see Ian Connor sitting front row on a Celine runway. You know what I mean? And like, that's how I think it should be. I don't think it should be these 35, 40 year old dudes sitting in front. So 
I think Portland has a fashion scene, and I think it's young, and I think it's it's really you know I think it's under thirty. I would almost say under twenty five. People in Portland, people in Portland really don't know who I am, and I'm okay with that. I'm way okay with that because I would rather just walk down the street and just be chill and like not have to worry about people saying anything. Um, but you know, people outside of Portland know who we are, and that's what kind of makes a difference. So I guess next steps would just kind of be educating people, like yo, like we're next. You know, we're next up.